first thing we'll do is we'll take the motor away from your uh, your cart. And then we'll start with these. Right, right. And unless you get a vehicle or a truck, something that's big enough to haul the cart, mm -hmm. then you'll have to take this apart. Right. Then you'll get very good at it. Yeah, I don't think it'll take much time at all once you've done it a few times. Now, do you think, uh, as far as this folding up cart with a you know, all the other stuff off of it, a strong bike rack would be enough to carry it, just as far as the cart itself. A bike rack? Yeah. I think so. I mean, it's you, only like, what, 50 pounds? Yeah, no, if you yeah. fasten it on there, right? Okay. Yeah, I think you can rig it. Yeah, because I bought one, I just haven't tried it yeah. out yet. Yeah. I saw one guy on YouTube, and he actually, which I'm not going to do this, obviously, but he actually had the full paramotor with the cage attached to, attached to a bike rack. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, dude, if that thing falls off, you're like $5,000 out. But he had it on there. Well, probably get tired of doing the same thing over and Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Take all these off. Hold on, hold on. Yep. Now, Dell Chansey would have this off already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, because he's fast. Yeah, he had a video of him and his son. I mean, this kid looked like he was nine years old. They each had their own flying around, and they ended up, like, flying up into these mountains and doing a camping trip. <laughs> it's like, man, that's crazy. Pretty neat, though. Straps are off. Leave the straps. Okay, there wasn't any on the bottom at all or anything. Yeah, that's no it. Straps anywhere else. Okay. The holding this to there. That's all up here. Oh yeah, because the bottom's secured and by this. The... Is secured by these. Yeah, so that's you right. You got to take these completely off. You can get your frame out. So keep all that straight. Okay, so basically, have now, this is something if you don't take this off on a normal basis, I would pre flight check these to yeah. make sure they're thumb tight. Okay, you know, and then make sure they don't rot, rot, rattle off. All right. All right, so that's completely detached, ready to come off of your cart. So, probably just grab it like this. Left. I'm glad I don't have that thing on my back trying to. Yeah. Maybe that's what you guys do, but. It'll be hard on your knees. Yeah, I'm sure would. Okay, so that's detached. Okay. All right, you want to disassemble this. Really, it's just going to be taking all your Velcro off, all the way around the cage, to bring it up, and take it apart. Okay. So it's safe to go ahead and keep the propeller on there. What's that? It's safe to go ahead and keep the propeller on it. Uh. It is safe as long as you can fit it in your vehicle. Yeah. Okay. You can turn it uh, vertically. Okay. You uh, you can always make sure your your switch is off here. Right. Too. Okay. So I wasn't is, sure if there was like it's easily damaged or something. Uh, with the it only, yeah, only Unless you really have to do something set something, something to it. on it. Or okay. I got drop you. Drop it on. Some... Yeah. No, it's fine. Okay. I usually haul mine with the propeller on because I don't want to take those bolts off all the time. Right.
I always like to take your Velcro and hold it on itself so they right. keep them together. You may want to review uh, Dell's video too on assembly yes. on YouTube. That I kind of forget, but I think this one isn't completely cinched tight. Okay. But I yeah. Think he does it like a bow mm -hmm. or something here, maybe here and here. Yeah, for some reason he and didn't. This one's one not is... very tight. When he, it's the last one he puts on here, and it's not completely snug. But okay. he does, he does cinch up all these other ones. Yeah. I'm going to look here, come around, whenever you put this together, uh -huh. you've got, everything's the same when you bring a strap, it, it, it comes around on itself Okay, first. yeah. So you're not ever pulling directly on your rivets. Right. It always it's does rapid. a single first wrap, then it comes, down here at the bottom in particular, you're going to go around and you're going to come through this spot right here. Okay. Not down here, right. through there. And then that'll be assembled right there. through there. Okay. Okay. Oops, it's one here. Okay. I think we got all your straps off. This frame should just pop apart. Now, uh, you want to look at your frame here, your components. Right now you've got these, so that'll yeah. tell you what your top, right. top quadrant is. And your bottom quadrant, obviously your net facing out the front. Right. So it'll keep you straight that way, and then you've got a nice bend here that will tell you the difference between the top and the bottom too. Right. And that'll just follow the frame. Okay. Okay, so you got those components. So we'll pop off. Same way. Okay, that's pretty much. This here, top one, I think this comes off too, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So there's that. And that's. Just be careful with that one. Complete. Okay. Now, I might just take this just so it's out of your way. Just hold it down here like that. Alrighty. And then we can um, let your. Let your cable come all the way through back here. Mm -hmm. We can either just lay it on space yep. here. Okay. On your truck. All right. Um, let's do something else. I think it might be better if we take your tank off so that it's not sitting sideways. Okay. The way you can take that off is there is a disconnect point right here. See this little tab? Yeah. Press in on that. Hold on one second. I can't see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Yeah. Press in on it. Pushes that down. Comes out. Okay. You can do that. You can get your fuel out of there. Then on your tank, you're held together here by two clips. Here's one on this U bracket. Yeah. And one on the other side. Yep. Let's pop right out. Okay, okay. free. Then I get a Velcro strap here. Good. 
you don't have to leave right. the gas tank on its side. Yeah, I didn't even know that came off like that. That's, that's nice. Okay. Okay, so this then, I'll put this back into place so that you know how when you actually do that forks. This fork comes right like this. Okay. And then this these here go through these holes. And then you, you run this clip through again. Okay. And then you Velcro that part to here. Okay. That little Velcro. <laughs> to this. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Looks good, man. Thank so, you. Yeah.